Hello, and welcome to a video presentation on triangles. Here's what you'll learn. How to classify triangles by their side lengths and their angle measures. There are special names given to triangles based on the lengths of their sides and the measures of their angles. First, let's take a look at the words that we use to classify triangles by the lengths of their sides. This particular triangle is called scalene. It has no congruent sides. That means each of the sides is a different length. This particular triangle is called isosceles. It has two congruent sides, or two sides that have the same measure. This triangle is an equilateral triangle. All of the sides are congruent and measure exactly the same length. Now let's look at the words used to classify triangles by their angles. This particular triangle is called an acute triangle because every one of the angles is acute. This particular triangle is an obtuse triangle. If you'll notice, we have one angle that's greater than 90 degrees but less than 180, or obtuse. This triangle is a right triangle. It has one angle that's 90 degrees. When classifying triangles, we should try to use a word from each category if possible. Always try to pick a word from the by sides category and a word from the by angles category to classify or name your triangle. Now let's take a look at some examples. Classify this triangle according to its sides and angles. Now we have no information regarding the lengths of the sides, not even tick marks to indicate any congruency. So we're going to assume that all sides are different lengths. And a triangle with different length sides is called a scalene triangle. So let's write down the word scalene to start. Now let's take a look at the angles. We have one right angle. That's going to make this a right triangle. So what we have is a scalene right triangle. And by the way, you can also swap the words and call it a right scalene triangle. Both of them are the same. Let's classify this triangle according to its sides and angles as well. Now this time we have tick marks indicating we have three congruent sides. That makes this an equilateral triangle. Now looking at the angles, all of the angles appear to be acute. So that's going to make this also an acute triangle. So what we have is an equilateral acute triangle. Classify this triangle according to its sides and angles. Again, we have no information regarding the lengths of the sides, not even tick marks to indicate that anything is congruent. So we're going to assume all sides are different lengths. So what does that tell us about the name of this triangle? It's going to be a scalene triangle. So let's write down the word scalene. And now looking at the angles, we see we have one obtuse angle in the picture. That's going to make this an obtuse triangle. So we have a scalene obtuse triangle. One more example now. Let's classify this triangle according to sides and angles. Looking at the sides, we see we have tick marks indicating that two of the sides are congruent. That makes this triangle isosceles. So I'll write down isosceles. Now we want to look at the angles. And we notice we have one right angle, which makes this a right triangle. So what we have is an isosceles right triangle. Congratulations! You've learned how to classify triangles by their side lengths and their angle measures.